magandang araw muli sa ating lahat. Ako si Teacher Ray dito sa Math Thinker Studio upang maghatid kuli ng panibagong aralin sa Mathematics 5. Kaya naman, huwag na natin tong patagalin pa. Okay, so good morning again. Isang magandang araw sa ating lahat. Ang ating natatalakayin sa araw na to, multiply decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digit whole numbers. Okay, so umpisahan natin ang ating natalakayan sa multiply decimal number by one digit whole number. At narito ang mga iba't ibang steps na dapat nating sundin. Una, multiply just like whole numbers. Pangalawa, count the decimal places in the factors. Letter C, the number of decimal places in the product is equal to the sum of the decimal places in the factors. Now, let us answer our first example. 3 and 4 tenths times 4. So, ang unang gagawin, isulat natin. And then, let us multiply. Let us multiply first 4 times 4 is equal to 16, carry 1. Sunod natin ang 3 times 4 is equal to 12, plus 1 is equal to 13. At huwag natin kakalimutan ang ating decimal point. So, pag binasa natin to, ito ay magiging 13 and 6 tenths. Okay, so let us proceed to our next example. 6 tenths multiplied by 8. So, sulat natin vertically times 8. Then, let us multiply 6 times 8 is equal to 48, carry 4. Then, 0 times 8 is equal to 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. At huwag natin kakalimutan ang decimal point natin. Meron lang tayong isang uh, digit after the decimal point. So, ibig sabihin, mag-move lang tayo papuntang kaliwa ng isang beses lang din. So, pag binasa natin to, 4 and 8 tenths. Okay, so let us proceed to our next example. 3 and 27 hundreds multiplied by 5. So, let us multiply. First, 7 times 5 is equal to 35, carry 3. The next to multiply is 2 times 5 is equal to 10, plus 3 is equal to 13, carry 1. Then, 3 times 5 is equal to 15, plus 1 is equal to 16. And don't forget the decimal point. So, ilalagay natin ang ating decimal point sa pagitan ng 6 and 3 dahil meron lang tayong dalawang digit after the decimal point. Ibig sabihin, just move two places backward papunta sa kaliwa, isa, dalawa, and that is our final answer. Pag binasa natin to magiging 16 and 35 hundreds. Okay. Isunod natin ang example na to. 193,000 multiplied by 6. So, ang pag-multiply dito, para lang tayong nag-multiply ng whole numbers. So, let us multiply. 3 times 6 is equal to 18, carry 1. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. Plus 1 is equal to 55, carry 5. Then, 1 times 6 is equal to 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. Then, uh, carry 1, 0 times 6 is equal to 0, plus 1 is equal to 1. And the decimal point is between 1 and 1. So, pag binasa natin to, magiging 1 and 158,000. Okay, now let us proceed to our next category, multiply decimal number by two-digit whole number. Narito ang ating example. 8 tenths multiplied by 24. So, unahin natin i-multiply ang uh, nasa kanan na digit, which is 8 times 4 is equal to 32, carry 3. 
then 0 times 4 is equal to 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. The next to multiply is uh, 8 times 2. Okay? Then uh, 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Carry 1. Then 0 times 2 is equal to 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Then let us add our partial product. So bring down 2. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Then 1. So ang ating decimal point ay nasa pagitan ng 9 at 2. So pag binasa natin to, magiging 19 and 2 pence. Okay, so our next example is 4 and 12 hundreds multiplied by 58. So let us multiply first 2 times 8 is equal to 16, carry 1. Then 1 times 8 is equal to 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Then 4 times 8 is equal to 32. The next multiply is the second digit, 5. So 2 times 5 is equal to 10, carry 1. Then 1 times 5 is equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Then 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Now let us add our partial product. So let's bring down 6. 9 plus 0 is equal to 9. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Then 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. Then bring down 2. So now our decimal point is between 8 and 9. Okay? So pag binasa natin to, 238 and 96 hundreds. Okay, bago tayo magtapos sa ating uh, aralin, narito ulit on how to multiply decimal number. First, multiply just like whole number. So, kung magmultiply tayo ng decimal number ay para lang tayo nung nagmumultiply ng whole numbers. Letter B, count the decimal places in the factors. Mahalaga yon para alam natin kung saan natin ilalagay ang ating decimal place sa ating sagot. And then, the number of decimal places in the product is equal to the sum of the decimal places in the factors. So, sana ay nakatulong ulit ako ng konting kalaman sa multiplying decimal numbers. Diyan na naman nagtatapos ang uh, ating talakayan sa araw na to. Muli, this is Teacher Ray, nag-iiwan ng isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. Paalam!